Hey everybody, this is Jen with Garden Jen's Journey. Today I'm going to take you on a walk to show you what's been updated uh, since the last video that we did. Um, our baby chicks are getting bigger. I'll show you them in just a second. But we've got a lot going on and so I want to take you out and about. So here we go. Okay, so this is our chicken area. Uh, this is where we have um, a large chicken run, and then we have two coops. We have the main coop, which is where our birds reside, and then we have a quarantine or segregation coop that we use when we bring out um, new chicks for the year, or if there's a sick bird or something, we have an area to quarantine them. So there's a lot going on. There's a lot of stuff laying around and things like that, but this is a work in progress. Um, so just bear with me as I give you a tour of how much has changed in this area in the last uh, two days or so. <clears throat> So this is our main coop. It's uh, made from an old pop-up camper with a hard top. Um, and yeah, so it works very well as a chicken coop. And I will show you inside what it looks like. So, all right, give me a minute. I gotta latch the door so it doesn't lock me in. I've done that once or twice. All right. So this is um, all redone right there where the board is. There used to be still a refrigerator and the heating unit that were part of the um, coop or the, the trailer. We didn't tear them out. We just built above them. But we have so many birds now and it was also very hard to clean because they were cr uh, crapping everywhere. And so um, we just tore all that out. Now the floor is, is completely flat, except for the, <laughs> that's the hub right there, the fender well for the tire. But anyways, it's completely flat area. And the roosts now are up there. And my husband uh, turned an old crib into the uh, ladder for them. So that's what that looks like. All right. And then, oh, she moved. It goes along there to the window. And then this here, these are our nesting boxes. You can see they're just tidy cat litter boxes. And we have, I'll show you, I gotta move carefully. She's out right now. But we have a broody hen, and that's her little nest. And with it being uh, the end of March, we're gonna go ahead and see if she's actually going to hatch those eggs. Uh, we were in here watching her earlier and she was sitting on those eggs and building a nest. It was really neat to watch her. So we're just gonna um, see how that goes. If we get more chicks, we get more chicks. If not, um, that's okay too. All right, back out we go. <clears throat> Gotta close the door again. It's almost bedtime for these guys so they're getting their last meal of the night. All right, over here, like I said, there's a lot of debris and stuff right now because we're in rebuild mode. Um, but if you've seen my earlier videos um, from like earlier this year even, um, we had a fence where that pole is and it came all the way across to where this pole is. Um, and that was the extent of the run this way. But uh, we decided that we needed to give the chickens a place to get uh, away from the sun. And um, my elderberry bushes provide excellent shade uh, when they're, um, they're nice and full. I don't let my chickens free range generally through the summer right now because there's not a way to block them out of my garden. So they're locked in here during the summer. So the, um, the elderberry bushes, um, they couldn't get to. Now they can get to them because we actually moved the fence from there up against my new pallet fence. 
uh, which my husband redid uh, I think a week ago is when it um, when it was done it's when my last video was posted but anyway so that's done so it's open all this space and they can get underneath the elderberry bushes so that's really cool and this is uh, the segregation coop it's actually two parts because we have a little coop over there because we used to have ducks and all sorts of stuff back here so it was two different compartments this fence is going to get um, uh, torn down so it's going to be a little bigger run but anyways you can see kind of what's new and what's old because it's so weathered this is the uh, remodeled segregation coop my husband's still working on it um, but we're getting there so that's a big change that we had done in the last couple days, those two coops. Now I'm going to take you over to the garden and show you what we're doing over there. Okay, so we're going into the main garden. And a little bit's changed in here. Um, I've been working as an able. I've had uh, the flu for about a week now, so it's... Uh, taking a lot of energy out of me but I know that I need to be out in the fresh air and the sunshine to help get my immune system kicked into overdrive and uh, beat this bug <laughs> so I've been out here um, doing what I can little by little um, today I added 10 more jugs to that uh, group of jugs there for uh, winter sowing so that's cool I have about 30 more to do um, I also transplanted my one rose. Um, this is a climbing rose, and so I actually needed to put it up against this what, so it could climb. And so I transplanted it and I uh, attached it with Velcro stri strips to the uh, fence here so it can continue to climb. And I'm going to be moving my grapes. I have not figured out where yet. But I'm working on it um, because the way that I have this, it's very difficult to maintain. So I had pruned it um, about a week or so ago, and so all that's left is the main uh, stems or canes or vines, however you want to call it. Um, so they're going to be kind of easy to pull out of here. And then I'm going to transplant them probably over to the pallet fence. I think I'll have room for them to, to grow there. So yeah, that's been dealt with. I just planted a new rose. Um, this is uh, going to be like a light purple rose. It's supposed to be really pretty. So we'll see how that does. <clears throat> and I have uh, quite a few things that are starting to grow. I've got chamomile growing in my pot. That's kind of cool. And that little mini rose is still alive because I see some green growth here. See the green growth and then I see little uh, leaf nodes growing. So this guy is still alive, I'm surprised. But it's going to need a new pot because it broke. <laughs> so yeah, and it's quite wood bound. So yeah, I'm going to have to repot that. No big deal though. <sighs> this is Smoke Bomb. She's a very playful little kitten. She's going to be two next month. <laughs> or not next month, but uh, May. Anyway, um, moving on. So there's the pallet fence that my husband redid. It's really, really nice. I really, really enjoy it. It looks nice and clean and uh, clean lined anyway. Um, it used to be a zigzag fence, which I thought was kind of cool at first. But um, it's actually a pain in the butt to work with because um, it was just an odd planting area and whatnot. So we got a straight line planting area and I think this is where I'm going to plant my grapes um, because if I get them to go up high enough and go along the top there, they'll be out of the reach of the chickens but I'll be able to keep them maintained over here instead of next to the dog run. That was just a disaster. So I've been getting my beds. Um, hold on a second. Smoke Bomb decides she wants a ride. Let's see. Hi, Smoke Bomb. How are you? Yeah, pain in the butt. So, anyways, back to where we were. Down she goes again. Um, I went through and I marked and I moved the logs to where my new beds are going to be. 
So it's kind of kind of cool. There's Smoke Bomb's brother, Tiny. <laughs> Anyways, um, so yeah, I have uh, moved my trellises a little bit. I moved this side in, so this is four feet in between here now. And then I set the markers up. I'm not quite done here. I need to get some more boards, but um, two feet away from my first bed. And then this is a four foot bed. That's a four foot bed. Um, I started working over here. I don't have any more cattle panels yet, but that's a two foot bed. And then there'll be a cattle panel alongside it. And then on the other side, on the other side of the chairs there, it'll be another two foot bed. And then this is my other trellis with its beds. <clears throat> and then over here where the jugs are, I have this bed here. I'm not done marking it out yet, but I'm out of room. Uh, I have to wait till I get these jugs moved. But anyway, I'll have a bed here and a bed and about in that area there. So a lot is going on um, and exciting. Um, my tansy is starting to really grow now. That's doing a really good job. Um, I think I have borage growing there. I had it planted there last year and it's a self-seeding um, annual, I think is what it's called. So I put the uh, tote around it to keep the chickens from uh, eating it because the chickens eat anything green. So um, that's why in the summertime we kick them out of here because um, I don't have a way to keep them out. We have a pallet fence that goes along there, but um, they jump that fence or right now they can actually easily just walk through it because there's no wire or anything stopping them. So until I can get this completely fenced off, and that's kind of an expensive endeavor, that's why it's not been done, um, the chickens can come in and out of here quite freely. And uh, so we need to get that fixed in order to be able to let the chickens free range all summer, which is actually uh, more beneficial to their health and I'll help keep the bugs and stuff down as well. So free ranging is the best for chickens if you can do it. If not, um, you know, just having a nice size enclosure uh, and giving them lots of uh, fruit and vegetable scraps, a good quality feed uh, is really beneficial to them. So I have my two fig trees there. I haven't seen any new growth on them yet, but it's still been kind of cool. I don't think they wake up for about another month or so. Uh, so we'll see. And then my medicinal bed starts here and goes all the way down. We've got quite a few things that have come up, like my uh, chives and my whorehound. I've got a little bit of yarrow coming up, but uh, like I said, the chickens eat anything green. I have a little little bit of yarrow there, but um, they eat it really quickly. Um, my hyssops coming back. Um, let's see what else. My lemon thyme. Um, I got some more yarrow in there. Let's see if I can show it to you. Yarrow going on in there. Those are very dainty fine leaves. Yarrow is really, really fine and dainty leaved. It's kind of easy, interesting. The pool is for me to mix um, my soil when I bring in bag soil to use for my container beds. My husband got this pool so I can uh, use it to mix because quite often he's got the wheelbarrow. So, yeah. This is lemon balm. And I'm trying to see. Oh, yep. Take you down there. Doo -doo -doo. All the new growth down in there. There you go. Oh. And then that over there, um, that's stingy nettle. It wasn't meant to be all over the ground, but unfortunately it got away from me. Stingy nettle is a great medicinal plant, but um, yeah, if you don't keep it contained, it'll get away from you quite easily. So also in this, this I used to call my rose bed because that's what I mainly have in it. I have um, roses in here, but I also have a couple other things. I have thyme in here, which is a good companion plant for roses. Um, these are also irises. I had to remember, these are irises. And I also have a couple of um, 
Oh, canna lilies. Really, really pretty. They should be in this area. They'll come up eventually. Um, I have a sedum. These look really neat when they're little. <clears throat> and it gets really bushy and just kind of interesting. Um, my rhubarb is starting to come up. And then this area, <laughs> it's just a mass planting of daffodils. We got a bunch of daffodils from a church that was redoing the flower beds. And so my husband and I, we just put them all here. So yeah, that's the mass planting of daffodils. So yeah, so that's what's going on here. And it's kind of cool. I uh, really enjoy what's going on. So yeah, that is um, our walk today. We've got a lot of things going on. I'm just really excited at the progress. Um, the weather has been up and down. My health has been up and down. Um, but with a quarantine in place right now, we're on a lockdown here in Michigan uh, for three weeks. So a lot's actually getting done around the homestead. And uh, I'm very thankful for that um, because both my guys, they work very hard on uh, long, long days. And uh, so they're not able to help around the homestead much. And with my health, uh, kind of in the pot sometimes. <laughs> yeah, so just very, very thankful that um, we're able to get this much done in this short amount of time. Um, and soon it'll be time to start planting. So um, yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna keep you guys updated. Uh, as I always do on what's going on here at the homestead and I just thank you so much for following me on our journey and uh, you know if you found this video fascinating you liked it or whatever please give it a thumbs up it really helps uh, spread the word about my channel to other people who might find this content inspiring or helpful and if you're not already go ahead and subscribe to this channel so you can kind of keep updated on what's going on I love to share my journey. I hope to be an inspiration to others to get out there and uh, just tackle that journey one day at a time. And uh, it's gonna be an interesting ride, I'll tell you that much, but it's well worth it. So I thank you for watching everybody and I hope wherever you are, you are wonderfully blessed. Bye-bye.